Stacy Higginbotham with GigaOM, and I'm here with Wynne Treese, the Director of Advanced Technology for Sci Cortex, talking about their green supercomputers. Hi, Wynne. Hi, Stacy. How are you? Great. Can you tell us what we're looking at here? What we're looking at here uh, is our SCO72 personal development system, uh, which is designed for developing high-performance parallel applications. Uh, inside the box, we have uh, 12 processing nodes, each one with six CPUs and four gigabytes of RAM. So uh, with a high-speed interconnect of our own design, so it's like a cluster in a box for only 300 watts. Wow, how much is that compared to my desktop? Uh, many desktops with, with one or two processors are actually running at 300 watts today. Awesome, so what can I do with this? What we usually do with this is to develop applications that run on large-scale uh, machines for high-performance parallel computing. Uh, many clusters today are in the 64 processor range. So this is like having the data center closet in the box, but lets you develop on your own and then scale up to hundreds or thousands of processors with an application that might be doing climate modeling or fluid dynamics or space simulations. And why is it important for me to develop on such a high performance machine versus writing code on my personal computer? One of the challenges in developing parallel applications is scaling them up. So when you start off with a, a simple code that runs on one processor, it's not too hard to go to two or four or maybe eight, but as you go to 50 or 60 or 100, you start to see very different behavior in the performance, and it doesn't scale as much as you'd like. So what we can do now is at your desk, you can do that development without having to go off and request time from the campus data center, the department data center, um, which is a big shared resource that you might have to use in the middle of the night. Awesome. All right. Well, let's take it up a notch to your next machine. So the large system in the family is the SC5832, which has up to 5,832 processors in the cabinet here. 5,800 and how many? 32. Wow. The, those systems are constructed in 972 nodes. Each one runs Linux, and it looks like a large cluster as a programmer uh, looking at it. Um, it's built with a high-speed interconnect that we designed all on the boards in the back plane in the system. And this system can go into a data center and consumes about 20 kilowatts of power for eight teraflops of performance. Wow, and let's take a look at the uh, the cool styling on the doors, which are very DeLorean style. Is there a reason for that? Um, there is. Uh, one is that supercomputing has always had innovative industrial design and we want to continue that tradition. But accessibility to the system uh, is very important, so we wanted to be able to <clears throat> very easily get into the system uh, but still have it look nice in the data center. And in a lot of cases, it takes a prime space in that data center right in front of the glass. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome, Stacy. All right. Bye-bye.